to create reference elements we use this toolbar reference elements by this toolbar we can create point line and plane first create let's first create a point to create point we have this option coordinates in which we need to enter three dimensional coordinates x y z coordinates x coordinate is 30 y coordinate is 20 and z coordinate is 50 and note that these coordinates are uh, calculated or are, are referred according to the global coordinate system the point is taken as the origin so if you have any other point you can select that as well as the origin and then this coordinates will be referred according to that uh, that origin uh, if you have any other coordinate system you can select that coordinate system as well right here in the axis system if I click on OK then there is the, this is the point Another option is to create that uh, point on curve. If you have any curve like this, I have I have this curve. I can select this curve, and then there is there is this option distance on curve. So this is the distance, and it is calculated with reference to this extreme point. You can see you can uh, select another reference point as well. For that purpose, click on this point reference point, and then pick any other point available on the curve. So here is the new distance which is calculated from this extremity. Uh, there is another option which is ratio of curve length. You can also enter a ratio on the curve length. Uh, like here if I enter 0.5 as the ratio then this is the this is the midpoint uh, of this curve. If I click on, if I enter 0.25, then it will be this point. So it is actually uh, the ratio of this curve length. Now the next thing is uh, you can create point on plane as well. If you have plane, let's say I select x y plane, then I need to enter x and y, or sorry, uh, horizontal and vertical coordinates. Uh, the again they are referred from the origin. But if you have any other point on the plane, you can that you can select that point, and these horizontal and vertical coordinates will be distances will be referred from that point. If you have any curve or hole uh, uh, or cylindrical, uh, these features or any sphere or ellipse, you can use this feature to create a center point of that feature. Uh, suppose I have this circle. So if I select this circle. A center point will be created like this. Now we'll see how we can create lines. To create lines, we have two main options: point to point and point to point to direction. Uh, for points, if you have specific points, you can select those specific points as start point and as end point. If you have any geometric entity, you can select their vertices, vertices as well. Uh, like in this case, I can select this corner point as point one and this corner point as point 2 and this is my line the point in point and direction option I need to select a point first and then I need to in, uh, set a direction let's say z component and then I need to enter a distance let's say 100 and click OK this is the line now we'll see how we can create planes. This is very important because uh, it's most often we need planes to create profile sketches. So first option is offset from plane. You can select any planar entity like surface or plane for reference. Like in this case, I select this surface for ref as a reference, and then you need to enter the parallel distance or offset distance. Let's say 50, and click on OK. You can reverse this direction as well. And then uh, another option is angle or normal to plane. If you have uh, any base plane and you need to create a new plane uh, inclined to that plane, it's, uh, then you need to enter, then you need to give rotation axis for that plane. Let's say y axis and you select this xy plane as the base plane. Then you need to enter the angle of inclination and click on OK. So here is the new plane, inclined plane. Now we will see this option which is normal to curve. If you have a curve and you need to create 
a perpendicular plane onto this curve then you can use this option suppose i have this curve by default it is take a, is taking a midpoint as the reference to create that plane you can also select any other point available on the curve to create the plane or perpendicular to the curve on that point like in this case i have selected this selected this extremity in this in this way you can create planes